traumatic memories can randomly intrude into our present and disrupt our daily function. Mindfulness can come into play here. The mindfulness can enhance the present moment awareness, increase self-compassion, and strength our ability to self-regulate. Mindfulness skills cultivate trauma recovery. The question for you is that, how do you use mindfulness for your trauma healing? So I'm here to help you with that. Let's dive in. My name is Hong Jung. I'm a licensed therapist based in Los Angeles, California. This is our virtual therapy session 5 on how to overcome childhood trauma. In our virtual therapy session, I'll prepare a set of questions for your trauma healing so you can take your time to answer each question. If you have missed our previous sessions, I encourage to watch those first. Alright, let's review. In our last session, we talked about simple tools to practice positive and authentic self-talk. So in the down description box, there's three questions I want you to ask yourself to track your progress. And I'll give you time here. I believe that self-regulation comes from self-awareness. All the skills and tools that I present in my previous videos put a lot of emphasis on self-awareness. So one question I ask myself is, how do I feel when I'm aware of myself? completely and fully? Do I still resist my anger, frustration, sadness, and fear? My observation with self-awareness is that I come to accept myself as I am. This means with a full sense of self-acceptance, we are able to embrace all the feelings and thoughts and sensations in our body. So instead of being resistant because what we resist persists, self-awareness brings many positive qualities. In terms of trauma healing, sense of gratitude is one of the important qualities. For my personal and professional experience, having a sense of gratitude is very difficult, yet worthwhile exercise. One of the gratitude exercises that I do on a daily basis is the loving kindness meditation. It is a very specific type of mindfulness meditation focused on gratitude and compassion. It is true that we as a human being are connected somehow and interdependent. To explain further, human evolution developed through hunting and gathering. We hunt, farm, and build houses and other resources together. We do things together. We exchange goods and services to meet each other's needs. The loving and kindness meditation gets to the heart of this inherited interdependence. We want to be able to not only wish for our well-being, but also the well-being of others. The purpose of mindfulness meditation is to be here and now. We often experience dwelling on the past too much or the future. So conversely, by practicing the warmth, compassion, and gratitude for yourself and others, we can achieve a sense of presence. Right now is a gift, that's why it's called the present. So putting some sort of mindfulness exercise or meditation in your daily practices will bring you a lot of benefits to your well-being. And there's a lot of scientific studies has been done to prove the benefits of mindfulness. A study found that people who practice some sort of mindfulness exercise are likely to have less health issues such as sleep problems, heart problems, digestive issues, and depression and anxiety. To, to enhance our well-being and heal our trauma, why don't we get into this loving-kindness meditation? It's better experience than explain. Alright, let's begin. I want you to get into your comfortable posture and you can sit down or lay down. I prefer sitting tall. And gently close your eyes and pay attention to your breath and let it come however it comes and notice where you sense your breathing you can feel it at the tip of your nose or you can feel the rise and fall of your chest or your abdomen now notice the sensation of your posture and give yourself a moment to connect with your neck shoulders back lower body and other parts supported by gravity. 
Let's stay mindful of our body. Turn your attention back to your breath. If you get distracted by your thoughts or external stimuli like noise outside, it is okay. Just bring back your awareness back to your breath. Notice one in-breath, the next out-breath. Can you feel the temperature of your breath? We are simply and effortlessly noticing each breath without trying to change our breathing pattern. Let's take a five deep breath and count to each breath. Now let's take a moment to notice our thoughts. We might experience negative thoughts, neutral thoughts, worrying thoughts, positive thoughts, hopeless thoughts, or hopeful thoughts. Let those thoughts come and go however they come and go. I like to visualize my thoughts passing by like clouds in the sky. We don't have to stop the clouds from coming. We can only watch them passing by. Let's take a moment to watch our thoughts. Bring your attention back to your breath again. And now gently bring a time when you experience sense of gratitude and connection with another person. You can think of recent memory or childhood memory. Let the situation come to your mind's eye. As much as you remember, bring all the details to the forefront of your mind. Let's take a stock of how you felt in your body. Did you feel warmth in your chest and your belly? Were you smiling? Did you feel light on your feet? Let's notice all the sensation associated with this particular memory and a sense of gratitude and connections. Now, now let's bring the image of that person you care about and feel a sense of gratitude and connection to. It might be helpful if you can place your hand on your chest as you think about this person in your mind's eye. This way you can be present with this person. And now we will begin to wish this person well by extending words of loving and kindness. And most importantly, I encourage you to practice this in a neutral setting and neutral mood so you have a safety in your mind and your body. Remember, there is no right or wrong way of doing this exercise. We're just here to experience this present moment fully. Now, silently or out loud, repeat these phrases. Alright, let's begin. May you be well. May you be joyful. May you be safe and at ease. While you're saying these phrases, allow yourself to notice sensations in your body. Okay. And may you be well. May you be joyful. May you be safe and at ease. If there is something else you want to wish for this person, please go ahead. 
and again notice how your body responds to these phrases. Now with this sense of gratitude and compassion in your mind and body, let's take a moment to consider positive and resilient statement that feels right and true to you. I like to use the I statement, such as, I can be happy, I am safe, I can handle this, I am resilient, I am good enough. Let's think about a positive and resilient statement for yourself. With that in mind, let's think about your calm place or joyful memory. This could be a recent memory or your childhood memory. To remember this memory accurately, you can think about the feelings, thoughts, the bodily sensation, the images associated with this memory. And as you play this memory in your head, scan your body from head to toe and to see how your body responds to this memory and see if there's a part of you that feels calm and excited. And when we offer words of loving and kindness to ourselves, I encourage you to notice your body again. And, and please repeat these phrases. May I be well. May I be kind to myself. And may I be safe. May I be curious. May I be joyful. And allow yourself to notice your sensation in your body again. Again, repeat after me. May I be well. May I be kind to myself. May I be safe. May I be curious. May I be joyful. If there's something else you want to wish for yourself, please go ahead. And, and again, notice how your body responds to these phrases. Well done. Now let's give it a little challenge to ourselves. I want you to think about one upsetting memory during your childhood. If it's too upsetting, you can choose a mildly disturbing memory. As you play this memory in your mind's eye, scan your body from head to toe and see how your body responds to this particular memory. And see if there is a part of you that feels vulnerable, needs support and some kindness from you. You can see this part as a child. So now, using your adult brain, let's wish something good for this vulnerable part of you. Now, repeat these words of loving and kindness to your vulnerable part. May I feel with loving and kindness. May I be safe. May I be well in my body and mind. May I be at ease and happy. May I be resilient. So with these phrases, allow yourself to notice any sensation in your body. You might feel tension or relaxation, comfort or discomfort, pain or relief. Let's simply notice them without trying to change them. Again, repeat these phrases for your vulnerable part. May I be filled with loving and kindness. And may I be safe. May I be well in my body and mind. And may I be at ease and happy. May I be resilient. If there is something else you want to wish for this vulnerable part of you, please go ahead. And, and notice how your body responds to that. Practice our loving and kindness further. Let's think about someone you were in conflict with. 
or simply you disliked during your childhood. This is where things can be a little more challenging. Let's be mindful of that. We don't have to push or change our experience with this. We are just staying in this moment and noticing our memory. So one foot in the present and the other foot in the past. Obviously, it is easier to send well wishes to those we love. However, every step during this exercise has its own value. Let's see if you can take a moment to let go of this old resentment and dislike for this person just for a few minutes here. and feel your body as you think about this person. You might experience anxiety, anger, frustration, or pain. Let's be mindful of these sensations in our body. Again, we don't have to push away our sensation in our body and our feelings. Let's be with them. Let's contain them so that we can let them settle down naturally. If you feel okay, please extend your loving and kindness to this person. Again, notice your body as you repeat these phrases. Please repeat after me. May you be filled with loving and kindness. May you be safe. May you feel well in your body and mind. May you be resilient. While you say these phrases, allow yourself to notice any shift or change your body is making. Repeat after me here. May you be filled with loving and kindness. And may you be safe. And may you feel well in your mind and body. May you be resilient. If there's something else that you want to wish for this person, please go ahead and see how your body responds to that. All right, let's bring your attention back to your breath. Scan your body one last time from head to toe as you focus on your breathing. You might notice tension or relaxation, comfort or discomfort, pain or relief. Let those sensations come and go however they come and go. Take a deep breath. And when you feel ready, open your eyes. Alright, how was it? How was your experience with this loving kindness meditation? I'd like to hear your thoughts and feelings, so please leave a comment below. Remember, meditation is a brain exercise. We exercise the parts of our brain that bring us sense of focus, calm, and clarity in our body and mind. We cannot change everything that happened to us in our life, but you can change the way you experience it. So take care of yourself and do your healing every day.